Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. It's time to pick my monthly makeup. I have really loved doing a monthly shop my stash. First of all, it really keeps me in close contact with what I have. The way that I have things organized makes good sense to me, but it also lets me see what I have as well as what I'm reaching for. As I open up the drawers and start looking through things or open up the containers, you know what? I keep reaching for these three things, but everything else is just sitting here. And it really helps me remember to either go back and revisit something or ask myself the question, why do I have it? Does it still need to be here? That's really great. The other thing that's good about it is keeping in really close contact with my entire collection and kind of going through and at least seeing it once a month reminds me what I already have. So I try really hard not to make a similar purchase with a new product. Um, and there's nothing wrong with getting new things, but I'm always trying to balance the using what I have and enjoying what I already have with the over-purchasing. I've done a lot of purchasing in late October through November, and I feel like I'm ready to just kind of take a break and use what I got. So let's fill up some bins. First thing I should show you is this bin right here. This is full of recent purchases I'm still trying to make my mind up on. I'm gonna put these things in the bins first so I know how much blush, eyeshadow, um, there's a lot of eyeshadow in here and lip products I have in here and what I still need to find in the rest of my collection. So give me just a minute. Okay, I've got some liquid highlight in here and some foundation products and it's time to actually decide what I'm putting in for this month. I, I feel like I need to keep putting this in there, the Minimalist from Merit, that is a fave. I'm also gonna put in the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. This will be something I use on a work day when I need a little bit more heavy duty foundation. I think I'm gonna put this in. This is the Daydream Cushion from M Cosmetics. I love this. I wear the lightest shade in Cloud Dream. I'm gonna put this in for my glowy days. I haven't used this in forever. And I think it's time to start reaching for things I know I haven't reached. So I will put the Fenty Ease Drop in as well. So I've been into the Auric Glow Lust a lot. I didn't really reach for it much last month. All last month I was reaching for Lisa Eldridge products. I think I'm going to put this in for this month. And I think the rest of this can go back over here. I'm going to pull some concealers as well. I'm going to start with the Beauty Pie Super Luminous Under Eye Genius. I never, rarely start a look without this. I'm trying to think of what else is here. I haven't used in a while. You know, I haven't used this in a while. Oh, this is from Fenty. Uh, this is the Bright Fix Concealer. I don't know if it'll be bright enough, but it'll pair well with the Fenty Ease Drop. So I'll put this in for this month. And by the way, I wear the shade 03 Seashell. I keep eyeballing Glossier Stretch Concealer. I was like, no, I used that a lot last month. I haven't used this Dior Backstage concealer in a while. I'm gonna put this in and I need one more that's a little higher coverage. And I think I'm gonna go for this. This, the label has worn off, I've used it so much. But this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. So this will be my heavy duty concealer for this month. This is what I have for base makeup so far. All of my powders are in these two containers. This top one here has all of my pressed powders and these are all of my loose powders. <laughs> This one looks like it's been through the mill. It's just packaging where the gold is ripping off. It's a Lancome product. Um, but I'm gonna start first with pressed powders. I really love a good pressed powder for especially my work days. You know what? This. I'm gonna pair this, the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear for a work day, as well as this the Dior Backstage. I haven't used this in a while. I think those would be nice to have. And I feel like I want one more. I think we'll also put this in. This is the Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder, the Blurring Under Eye Powder. I have the lightest shade there. That should be good for pressed powders. Now for loose powders, I haven't used this in a while. This is a beautiful powder. This is the Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. I'll put that in. And another easy to use, slightly radiant works everywhere powder. This one from Say. Um, this is their Air Set Translucent Setting Powder. So I'll put those two in. That should be enough loose powder for this month. All right, all of my base products for December. Oh, can't close the drawer. <laughs> 
There we go. So these are the products that I purchased recently that I wanted to keep track of and wanted to continue trying. I have this heart stamp blush from Kaja. I have one of the new serum blushes, the color drops from M Cosmetics, um, the contour from M Cosmetics and Tara, and these three matte satin cream blushes from LYS. These are part of a holiday set. So I feel like I'm good on like cream blush, but I do feel like I need some liquid bronzer and some liquid highlight. And I don't want to forget that I have the um, Auric Glow Lust in the top, but I do want a few others. So these are the cream highlights that I have. This one doesn't fit in this drawer. It's, it's too thick. Um, but I'm looking at this and I want to use this this month, the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beauty Light Wand. I have the lightest shade in Spotlight. That'll go well in here. And I also, oh, haven't used this in a while, but I love the RMS Living Luminizer. I'm putting this in for this month as well. I might also put in this Hourglass Vanish Highlight Stick. This is the shade Champagne Flash. And I think that's good for highlight. This is my cream bronzer contour drawer. I know I already have one of the M Cosmetics So Soft. Um, this is the contour shade in Terra. I want a bronzer. And you know, I haven't used this in a while. I think I pulled it a couple of months ago, but I never ended up using it. This is the cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. I have, I think this is shade one, but this is such a pretty product. I definitely want to get back into this. Yeah, this is lovely. We'll put this in between this for bronzer and the other for contour, which should be fine. I'm thinking about some eyeshadow singles I want to use. I have this scattered light from Hourglass. This is the shade Reflect. It's a really pretty, uh, super easy to use kind of coppery shade. This is fantastic on a day when I want a little bit of sparkle, but I don't have a ton of time. And I'm also going to put this in. This is one of the cream eyeshadows. Hello. There we go. From Sydney Grace. This one is in the shade Campfire. And it's kind of a really pretty kind of deeper bronze shade. And I use this as a one shadow look. It's really fabulous. So on days that I got to run and I don't have time for a lot, I'm going to make sure I have these available. Another thing I'm going to do is throw in this AMC liner from Inglot. I have the shade 90. This is my favorite gel liner. Um, this is just the best. Love, love, love. And if you're curious, they've got a ton of shades and I really like this formula. This is the only shade I've tried, but I would be willing probably to get um, maybe one of the other colors or even the black, but this is fantastic. Before I get into the rest of my collection, I need to think about what's still here. I've been continuing to pull makeup from this acrylic tower right here. And I, uh, before I move on, I want to make sure I have some eyeliners and some mascaras. I can't believe I have this many mascaras open. This is a pity. This is my favorite for work. So I'm going to take my Hamish smudge stop. Um, I'm also going to go back and try the Beauty Pie Flash False Lash. This one has been really nice. Um, so with these two, I do want to put one more in and I'm going to put this Caution Extreme uh, mascara in from Hourglass. This one is really great at not smudging or flaking. And I've had it open for a couple of months. I want to see if I can finish it this month. So I'll have these three in for this month. I can't live without my illustrative liner from M Cosmetics and Brown. That is going in. I'm wearing this today and I have been loving it. Uh, this is the Beauty Pie Ultra Color Pro Gel Eyeliner in Very Pretty Plum. It's kind of like this, uh, not quite purple, but a little plum is a good description of it. It's not really a brown. It's a really pretty neutral, but it's not harsh at all. And I really like this formula. Um, I do want a straight up brown liner. My little stubby persona <laughs> It's getting shorter and shorter. This is their 24 hour waterproof pencil. This is the shade brown. I love this. Um, I'm going to put that in for this month. And I do already have the KVD liner in there. So I think I'm good with eyeliners. If I need anything else, I can always come and dig around in here. I also need to go through and pick some eyebrow products for this month. I am trying to finish this up. This is a clear brow product from Rose Ink. I'll put that in. Ooh, you know what? Brow flick. Love the Glossier brow flick. I'm going to put that in. Control Freak from NYX to hold it all in place. I'm also going to put this Beauty Pie pencil and this is a Super Brow Precision pencil and I have the shade Perfect Brown. I'm also going to pair that with the Beauty Pie 
uh, fiber gel. Um, this is called their Archology Eyebrow Sculpting Gel. This is also in perfect brown. So this is a, a good duo here. I think that's pretty good. All right, so this is the drawer that I have for eye products. I have all my liners, mascaras, and brow products back here. I have uh, my gel liner and some singles, and then all of my new Lisa Eldridge palettes in here, all five of them. And then I also have this little Kaja Bento box. This is Orange Blossom, and this is one that I've tried twice. I got it during the Sephora sale. It has some really pretty shades in here, and um, I really, really like the way they wear. They're a little sparkly. I do get a little fallout from them, but my favorite one, let's see if I can open it one-handed, is this one down here at the bottom. This one is stunning. It's a beautiful one shadow look. So I'm gonna put this in for this month. And then I also have all three of the new holiday pedophores from Viseart. The Amelie, the Lilas Du, and the Violetta. So those guys are in here. That is, I feel like a lot of eyeshadow, but these are all new ones. I might, I might pull a few more, but I already feel like I've got plenty going on here. This drawer here at my desk houses a lot of my powder face products. And then from here over this way, you can't see all of it in the frame, is my smaller eyeshadow palettes. I do want um, powder bronzer. I really like this and I haven't used this in a while. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer. This is fantastic. This is the lightest shade in Fair. I think I'm also going to, ooh, this. I'm also gonna put in the Radiance Boosting Face Palette from Wayne Goss my favorite powder bronzer and contour. Love, love, love. And I know it looks a little orange here, but it's so beautiful on the skin. It's got a little radiance to it. This is a great powder contour, but it's not too gray and it's not too dark and it's perfect for fair skin. I love the textures and the colors. This is going in. These are the two products I just put in, the Wayne Goss and the L'Oreal. I do have my new Gucci blush in here. I do also have my new highlight from House Labs in here. This is really pretty. Um, and this is another highlight. I don't think another, I'll need another powder highlight, uh, but this is one from Beauty Pie. And uh, this one is super shiny. I haven't really used it that much since I picked it up, but this one is their Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder. And um, I'm gonna keep these two in here. This is a little bit more peach. This is a little bit more champagne, but I do feel like I need a little bit more powder blush. I like this kind of neutrally rosy tone, but let's keep pulling out some other things. I'm gonna put this Pat McGrath blush in. This is the shade Flirtatious. It's a very nude light shade. I think this is a good option for this month. I also want to put in Man, I love these blushes from M Cosmetics, these Heaven's Glow blushes. This one is a little bit more warm tone, but it's the lightest of all the ones I have. This one is in the shade Baroque. Here's another one of those M blushes. This was a limited edition blush this year. This is the shade Cherub. I haven't used this one in a while. So I have kind of like a bronzy one, um, some rosy ones. This one's very, you know, pink and fresh. It's been a long time since I've used one of these old holiday palettes. Definitely time to pull it out. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit number three. Um, it has a bronzer, two blushes, a highlight, and I think two of their um, ambient lighting powders. So I'm gonna put this in for this month as well because it'll give me more blush options, bronzer, uh, setting powders, and a different highlight. So here's everything going in my powder cheek products drawer. I'm trying to think if I need any small eyeshadows over here. Oh. I don't think so. I pulled this out for November and I only used it once and I was so sad. I got so much new eyeshadow. I felt like I had other things to play with, but I wanna play with this again. This is the Bullion Palette from Viseart. I love layering these golds over that black and kind of making it like a like an old gold or kind of like a, a really soft smoky eye because it's all obscured by the gold and the silver and the sparkle in here. I'm really excited about using this again, especially for holiday with like a bold lip. So I'm gonna put this in to go with those other three new pedophores. I'm going to go through my Sydney Grace singles here and instead of pulling just nine shades, I'm gonna use a larger Z palette. I don't know that I need more than nine Sydney Grace shades, but I'm gonna pull the metallics out of this Give Me Glow palette because like these are amazing. And I didn't really use these last month, but the reason I wanted these was for these shades right here. So I'm gonna use a magnet, pull the metallics out of this, 
and then uh, decide what I want out of here and build myself a larger singles palette. And I'll show you what I have when I'm done. Here is the palette that I picked. There's a little bit of warmth, but a lot of it's really cool. Um, all of the smaller pans are Sydney Grace. These larger pans here are from the Give Me Glow Two Moods palette. Um, I pulled all four, but I realized these are the three that I'm most likely to use. So starting here, this is Puppy Love, Winter Garden, Greatest Gift, Love and Happiness, Speedway, Peace, Cool Brown, Troops, in My Feelings, Turtle Doves, Treasure All, Pink Champagne Diet, Hot Chocolate, Keep Smiling, I Miss My Bed, Over It, and Dream Big. So this is the palette that I'm building for myself this month. Um, I've got a lot of really shiny shades in here. And then I have a lot of like these cooler mattes. Um, this is a cool mat, and then I do have some warmth, warmth running through here that's going to work well with this, with this. I can kind of mix and match as I want through here. So this is what I'm using this month for my hand-picked singles. These are the lip products I've decided to put in rotation for this month. I have a variety of liners, more nudie pink liners. I have some red and berry liners here and some more uh, kind of nudie brown leaning liners. I do have several reds. This is a new one from L'Oreal. Um, I've worn it once or twice. This is the Avant Garde um, matte lipsticks. And this is like a very bold red. This is the new La Rouge formula that comes in this packaging. Um, other reds that I have. I have this bold from YSL. This one is stunning. Yep, this is a little bit more orangey red, uh, but this is shade number one. Two new ones from Lisa Eldridge. This is Velvet Enchantment, and this one here is Velvet Duchess. So I have a wide range of what are considered reds, um, but this one leans a little bit more berry, this one's a little bit more brown, this one leans a little bit more red, this one leans a little bit more brick. Um, but I'm definitely going to lean into the red lipstick now that we are headed in towards the holidays. Let me show you the other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that I decided to pull. This is a new one. This one is Velvet Rain. This is more of a pink shade. Here's another new pink. This is Velvet Pompadour. A little bit warmer of a pink shade. Another one of Lisa's new shades. This is the sold out shade in Sorcery. This is stunning. And the one lipstick that I decided to reach for that is a favorite in the winter time is this one. This one is Velvet Blush Lightly. So it's a little bit more pinky mauve, I would say. I have one of the Rouge Roulette Shines. This is in the shade uh, 404. And it's kind of just like a nude pink shade. It's very light, it's very easy. This Dior is in the Stellar Attic Shine, um, another kind of pinky nude shade. It's a little bit cooler than this one. And uh, this is the shade Mirage. This is one of the old Labsolu Rouge from Lancome. This is the shade Beige Mirage. I'm going, for, I'm trying to really to find like a really light, kind of warm or cool sort of leaning shade to go with some of my more bold and extravagant eyeshadows that I have from Lisa Eldridge and the ones from Viseart. Um, and I am looking for those throughout my collection. I know I mentioned I didn't like this Generation G formula in my most recent monthly favorites and fails, but this shade is really what I'm looking for, like a really soft, almost nothing. And um, I think that's really gonna help with a lot of those bolder eyeshadows that I have, the Myth palette, the Sorcery palette from Lisa Eldridge. So that's why I have all of these guys out. This is a slightly deeper nude. This is Very Victoria from Charlotte Tilbury. I also really like this shade in Charming from Essence. This is a, what, under $4 lipstick. It's beautiful, but it's a little bit more of a pinky nude. Um, another nude I'm playing with this month is from Estee Lauder. It's from their holiday uh, blockbuster. Look at that. And this one is called Intense Nude. This is the Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm, and this is the shade Compliment. It's the deepest shade. I really like this. I like that it's kind of like a plummy, 
magenta e shade. I also decided to pull out the Kind Words lipstick. Um, I'm going to see if I can concoct this with a few other things. It's a little brown leaning for me, but this is the shade Worthy. I finally got a replacement for my Gucci lipstick. This is the Sheer Voile formula, and this is the shade Love is Better. Let's see, this is the first time swatching it. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, yes, I'm excited about this. I was thinking about things for work and this glossy glow or gloss and glow um, from Burt's Bees in Chai Time is one that I have been leaning very heavily on. I'm keeping both of the M Cosmetics So Soft Velvet Lip Creams out. I have the shade Tender and this more vibrant shade in Flutter. I have this Love Swipe from Kaja. I have the shade Adore You. It's a nice kind of moussey formula, very similar to what I have from M, um, kind of like a blurred or blotted kind of matte look. Probably my most to reach for merit lipsticks. This is the shade Baby. Oh, I love this shade. And then I also picked up Lavenue, which is a darker berry brown. And it's great to go with something that needs a little bit more of a statement lip but is not too bold. I think I'll leave it there. Um, I do have the Glossier Balm.com in Swiss Miss. I do have my Fenty um, Gloss. This I think is in the shade Fussy. And I have one from M. Look at this, this poor packaging. Um, it's just been through the mill. I just am not happy with the fact that it's cracked and all of this, but the product on the inside is delightful. It's the Everglass Lip Dew, and this is the shade Enchant. I love how shiny it is. I feel like the packaging is struggling since I have all of these chips in the gold writing. I have the crack in the lid here, and there used to be an M logo right here that got wiped off in the first week just from holding it, opening and closing, opening and closing. So although I do love how chunky and stubby this uh, component is and it has a window, I really, really, really have been struggling to fall in love with the rest of it. The packaging just makes me feel like I'm, uh, I, I, I'm going to finish it up, but I probably wouldn't buy any more of these. Not because the product isn't good, but because the packaging is just not my favorite. It looks all beat up. Oh, it took me a lot longer than I thought to pull my monthly makeup. I just started playing. <laughs> I always do that, swatching lipsticks, matching liners, finding which eyeshadows go together, and thinking about the eyeshadows that I have, what blushes they would need, what lipsticks they would need. It kind of takes a minute. And I, I find that when I go through and do it kind of quickly, but I'm not terribly thorough, I'm forever pulling other things out of the drawer, and then I have a mess everywhere. Uh, the good part when I take time to slowly go through my collection, think about what I'm gonna be using through the month, and pair tones, and make sure I have compliments, entry lipsticks and blushes and the right undertones and things like that then getting ready goes like that and storage stays pretty tidy I don't have things that kind of get pulled out and then just kind of left all over the surface oh I I think it takes a little bit longer than I expect it to but it really makes me happy and kind of eases me into getting ready for things like work or special events. We definitely have a lot of those coming up with all the winter holidays. So I am really looking forward to the makeup that I pulled this month. I'm really excited to start using it. I would love to know, do you shop your stash? Do you keep a really good track of what you have to make sure you don't have like 12 peach blushes or you know, 30 tan lipsticks? How do you handle that? Do you rotate through your collection or is your collection small enough to fit in a drawer or a bag and you just open it up and you can see everything all at once? I would love to know. Before I go, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I recently crossed a pretty big milestone for me, which is a 5,000 subscriber mark. I It kind of crept up on me and it happened quicker than I expected it to because it wasn't, I think it was this summer that I crossed the 4,000 subscriber mark. And I feel kind of like it's it normally takes a long time for me to get like another thousand subscribers. But I really feel like um, things have kind of been moving a little bit faster and I've had a few more views and I don't know exactly what it is. So if there are things that you have been enjoying that you want to see more of, let me know. Um, but just, I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know there are millions of people who put like content up on YouTube 
And I appreciate that you make time to watch my content, that you make time to interact with me in comments. I appreciate it so much. I really do. And thanks for letting, you know, your crazy neighborhood makeup lady chat with you about the things she loves so much. Have a fantastic day. I'm looking forward to the next video and I'll see you again soon.